Welcome everyone to our comprehensive training guide on mastering the hydraulic gantry. I'm Dave, your guide through this journey. Today, we'll cover everything you need to know to safely and efficiently operate a hydraulic gantry. Before we dive into operations, let's familiarize ourselves with the components of the hydraulic gantry. First, we have the hydraulic cylinders. These powerful cylinders are the heart of the gantry, responsible for raising and lowering the load. They use pressurized hydraulic fluid to generate the force needed to lift even the heaviest loads with precision. Next is the control panel. This is your command center, where you control all aspects of the gantry's operation. From lifting and lowering to moving the gantry, the control panel gives you the tools to manage every part of the process with ease. The IntelliLift wireless control system is another crucial component. It provides real-time feedback on the gantry's performance, allowing you to monitor and adjust lifting operations on the fly. This system enhances safety and ensures that the load remains stable throughout the process. Moving the gantry is made possible by the skid tracks. These tracks allow the gantry to glide smoothly across the surface, positioning the load precisely where it needs to go. They're designed to handle the immense weight of the gantry and the load, ensuring stability during movement. Header beams are another vital component, especially for distributing the load evenly across the gantry. These beams connect the hydraulic cylinders to the load, providing a stable platform for lifting. They're crucial for maintaining balance and ensuring a safe lift. The side shift mechanism allows for horizontal adjustments during the lift. This feature is especially useful for fine tuning the position of the load, making it easier to align the load with its final destination. Finally, we have the hydraulic hoses and connections. These components are essential for delivering hydraulic fluid to the cylinders, powering the entire system. Regular inspection of these hoses and connections is crucial to prevent leaks and ensure smooth operation. Understanding these components will help you operate the hydraulic gantry safely and effectively. Safety is paramount when operating a hydraulic gantry. Before each use, it's crucial to perform a series of safety checks to ensure everything is in proper working order. These pre-operational safety checks include inspecting hydraulic hoses, checking for leaks, and verifying the integrity of the control system. By conducting these checks, you'll minimize the risk of accidents and ensure a smooth lifting operation. First, ensure that the hydraulic gantry is securely positioned on a stable surface, verifying that the safety barriers are in place and that the work area is clear of all obstructions. Next, locate the control panel and switch on the power. Wait for the system's diagnostic check to complete, confirming that all systems are operational. Now, select the appropriate load settings on the control panel. This setting should correspond to the weight of the load you'll be lifting. Use the gantry's built-in load chart to verify the correct settings. Enter the load weight and height parameters, ensuring that they are within the gantry's capacity limits. With the load setting configured, it's time to position the gantry. The legs have a dry system that moves them along the gantry or skid track. Ensure that the gantry is aligned with the load and that the lifting points are centered. This alignment is crucial for maintaining balance and stability during the lift. Once the gantry is correctly positioned, engage the lifting mechanism. Begin by activating the hydraulic cylinders to raise the gantry to the desired height. Use the Intel Lift wireless control system to monitor the lift in real time, making any necessary adjustments to maintain stability. With the gantry at the correct height, slowly lift the load by gradually increasing hydraulic pressure. Monitor the load's movement closely, ensuring that it remains level throughout the lift. Use the side shift function if needed to make minor adjustments during the lift. The legs have a dry system that moves them along the gantry or skid track. Use the skid tracks to carefully maneuver the gantry. Move slowly and steadily maintaining control of the load at all times. If necessary, use the gantry's supplementary equipment like header beams to enhance stability and positioning. When you've reached the desired spot, begin lowering the load. Gradually decrease the hydraulic pressure, allowing the load to settle gently into place. Continue to monitor the load's position as it lowers, ensuring it remains stable and properly aligned. 
After the load is securely placed, disengage the lifting mechanism and lower the gantry to its resting position. Double check that the load is stable and secure. Finally, power down the hydraulic gantry by switching off the control panel and performing a post-operation inspection to ensure everything is in order. Once you've mastered the basics, you can explore advanced techniques to enhance your lifting capabilities. If the hydraulic system isn't responding, start by checking the power supply. Ensure that all connections are secure and the control panel is powered on. If the power supply is intact, inspect the hydraulic fluid levels. Low fluid levels can cause the system to malfunction. Top off the fluid level if needed and try operating the system again. If the load begins to drift during lifting, it could indicate uneven pressure in the hydraulic cylinders. Stop the lift immediately and check for any visible leaks or damage to the cylinders. If no leaks are found, use the IntelliLift system to recalibrate the pressure settings, ensuring an even distribution of force. Resume lifting only when you are confident the system is balanced. Inspect the tracks for any obstructions and clear them away. If the surface is uneven, use supplementary equipment to level the ground before attempting to move the gantries again. Smooth movement is essential for maintaining control of the load. If the control panel display malfunctions or shows an error, it may be due to a software glitch or electrical issue. First, try resetting the control panel by powering it off and back on. If the issue persists, Consult the gantry's manual for specific error codes or contact technical support for further assistance. If the load fails to lift despite the system being powered and calibrated, double check the load weight against the gantry's capacity. Ensure that the load is within the safe operating limits. If the load is within capacity and the issue persists, inspect the lifting points and connections for any signs of wear or damage. Secure the connections and attempt to lift again. Remember to always maintain clear communication with your team and follow the manufacturer's guidelines for safe operation. By understanding these advanced techniques and troubleshooting strategies, you'll be equipped to handle any lifting challenge with confidence. Congratulations, you've completed our comprehensive training guide on mastering hydraulic gantry operations. Remember, safety is the foundation for a successful lift. So always prioritize safety in your operations. Thanks for joining us. Happy lifting. Engineered rigging, your people, our equipment.